Technology has connected us in ways like never before. With a mobile device, we can talk, text, email, and share photos and videos with friends and family, whether they're in the same room with us or half the world away. Technology has also impacted our personal finances, from the way we shop to the way we bank. Perhaps no industry is indicative of technology's influence on society than cryptocurrency. So cryptocurrency is a term uh, that's being used more and more. Uh, you can think of it as the modern internet money or digital money, right? The interesting thing about cryptocurrency is it actually is a mean to transact value from one person to another without needing a middle trusted party. So currently when we transact or send value back and forth to one another, we have to trust that the person in the middle is actually keeping an accurate ledger or record of our transaction. And currently that might be a bank or financial institution, et cetera. So what cryptocurrencies have done and the technology underneath it, blockchain technology, is it allows the sending from one person to another without that need for that trusted third party. So it's more efficient, it can be faster, more robust, and it isn't dependent on any institution or centralized authority. While cryptocurrency has been in existence since 2009, it made its history and news in 2017 when the digital currency's value soared 1,400%. That's when investors of all types started to take notice that cryptocurrency is a viable alternative to traditional banking. I think cryptocurrency has become attractive to consumers because now they're in a world where they can control their own money. Uh, we can directly communicate with merchants uh, to get the products we want uh, without these middlemen taking fees in the middle. I think it's also a, a speculative game where people are able to invest and speculate in currencies as well. Despite cryptocurrency's rapid growth, for many it remains a mystery. That is where digital currencies like Pivx are changing the game. Pivx became the first cryptocurrency to translate its website and materials to over 30 native languages, providing unparalleled access and information to this digital financial asset. Just as important as education and ease of access is security and privacy. At Pivx, they place an emphasis on both because it believes privacy is a basic human right. I think education, privacy, and security are paramount with any crypto project. We absolutely need these. And at Pivx, we have amazing information channels, videos, a dev team in Discord able to chat. We have a fully developed support team to build this stuff. I think privacy is very important in this space as well. If I pay my plumber, for example, or a contractor, and I use Bitcoin, now they have my public address, and they can essentially see into my bank account. At uh, Pivx, we're completely against that. We think we should have a choice. If I want to pay a bill and have a paper trail, I can do that. If I want to pay a contract or not have them seen to my bank account, I can do that as well. Now, we have a, a, a great security team working full-time on the project, and I think that all crypto projects need these things to, to integrate into their project because then people feel safe, and, and it's a good investment space. Unlike its predecessors, including Bitcoin, Litecoin, and Dash, Pivx functions on a proof-of-stake algorithm that is less reliant on resources, making it eco-friendly. This approach also rewards all participants, as opposed to placing power in the hands of a select few that other digital currencies embrace. Proof-of-stake is a term used to describe a consensus algorithm in the blockchain sector. You typically hear proof-of-work. The other big one is proof-of-stake and it's a way to validate the entire blockchain as being legitimate. Um, one of the big advantages to proof of stake is that it's way more environmentally friendly. So take Pivx for example. You can run the entire Pivx network using one wind turbine or about 20 solar panel installations. So that's the entire power needed to run our global entire network. Bitcoin, it takes about the power from one nuclear power plant. So for a long-term scalable, proof of stake is the way to go. The Pivx community is one that encompasses the entire globe, which makes sense, considering that two-thirds of the world is either unbanked or underbanked. That is why cryptocurrency is being adopted on every continent, from South America to Africa to North America to Asia. Everywhere, people are discovering the power and freedom of being their own bank. Cryptocurrencies are already changing the world uh, and they're already beginning to make a difference in the underserved populations. Um, we can think about the traditional financial sectors where there's places that didn't have banking infrastructure now able to have accounts, 
they can send and receive finances, uh, and they're leapfrogging over the, the legacy systems that many of us experience. But it, it extends beyond the financial market. There's implications already being made in medical records, in land, in deeds, in trusts, and, and legal as well. So it basically hits every sector of life that we currently experience. I would recommend PIVX to anyone, even if you're just thinking that the whole technology and that is just a bit too hard for you to understand or you're overwhelmed. All you'd have to do is just come into our Discord service, actually, and just be a fly in the wall. Sit back and just learn, you know, get used to the environment, and from there you start picking up more information, and then you get to the point that you have that aha moment, and you're on your way. When it comes to cryptocurrency, the future is as limitless as the technology that has made it possible. Understanding the future of this financial sector is the first step to realizing the potential it offers to all of us as individuals and as a society. So we just had our newest release, uh, version 4.0, and that comes with a whole plethora of things that we've done. We have a new GUI for our customers to see the new wallet, and we have cold staking, a whole uh, hardware wallet support, a whole bunch of things that we're really excited to, to release to the public. Cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology, they're already changing the way we do business. They're already changing the landscape of life. We might not see the direct effects, but many of the processes that were put in place with the invention of the internet and then modern banking are being transferred into a blockchain cryptocurrency based ecosystem. So we're going to experience those. They might not be drastic changes, but a lot of what we're used to feeling will be running on a blockchain soon.